Carrasco, I've seen him, him in with some wars, this guy. Harry Roscoe's wearing the famous Reyes gear. Um, if he's wearing that oftentimes, that, uh, they bring that Latin brawler style to the ring. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, he is. He is. No question about it. Well, he's already moving like he's a, a, a boxer, though. He knows how to fight. He knows how to fight. Roscoe, Roscoe's already switching up early in this fight, Harry. I tell you, Blair's been around for a long time. I, my God. I, I, it's another situation where a guy knocks Bill Tennessee, not much boxing. He comes, he is a busy fighter here. He's in with a busy guy. Harry, as you said, that uh, Orozco is just unleashing a barrage of punches. I have to make you wonder, no, no, no matter how much experience Blair has, he, he can't take that kind of punishment all night. Exactly right. One thing you don't, and I'll tell you another thing about Mexican fighters, you don't know how many amateur fights they had in Mexico. As you can tell, this guy has been around the block. Well, Harry, busy, busy, busy. Harry, he's a strange combination between more the, 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 the Mexican or Latin style fighters, but uh, he's very elusive as well. Exactly. I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed by his footwork and his ability to get off first. Yep. This is when it's dangerous, when he stands in there and bangs, but as we said earlier, all boxers want to be bangers, all yes, bangers want to be boxers. Exactly. I think Ross goes uh, much more effective from a southpaw stance. Oh, yeah. Here, would you say Roscoe's left-handed naturally? It's hard to say the way he's so natural both ways. You know what I mean? You know? Oh, whoa. Uh, Roscoe gets a, a lot of momentum and, a, and, a, and, a, and uses his entire body on every punch, you can tell. You know, he, he certainly does, and I'll tell you, he stays so busy both ways, you notice? He's got this, he's got uh, Blair confused, totally confused. Doesn't know which way to go. Harry, you don't oftentimes see a fighter with that good of legs be able to actually dig in and, and, and put some force and velocity behind the punch. That's right. Oh, he's hurt. Blair's hurt in the corner. Orozco caught him, I think he smells blood. He's moving in like a young shark. Ready to devour his prey. Blair's fighting for his dear life. Oh, he catches Roscoe. Harry, a wounded animal is always dangerous, isn't it? Yep. Blair's got to come back and they're going to stop the fight. He's in his own corner. He hasn't fought in a long time. And he's, he's, he's in there. In a oh, my he, It is a war. If you're an Orozco fan, it's more enjoyable of a fight. If you're a Blair fan, it's going to have to be more offensive. A little tedious. But I think it's inactivity on Blair's part because Blair's fought the better fighters. But this guy has been in constant wars. His pro debut, he fought um, a national amateur champion from Georgia, Orozco did. Harry, it seems like the fights have been so competitive, and that is a testament to the matchmakers, to the promoters. It seems like Adrian Patrick and Shea Bailey have a, a, a one of their key ingredients is they like these KGO veterans versus a live young fighter. That was really good. Man, that, 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 I, I've been listening. As, as we're speaking, one of the Olympic family members, Terrell Biggs' brother, Xavier Biggs, is here talking to us. That was bad. I'm going to call you later. Will we start round two? Let's see if it starts the way the first round started. With well, Roscoe sticking and moving, punching in combination, circling his opponent. Harry, it's amazing how when he does switch, he instinctively moves the correct way, placing his opponent on the outside corner of his other. Yep. See, they really... I just think it's a matter of time before the volume punches is going to overwhelm Blair. Well, I'll tell you, I don't think that Orozco's ever gone six rounds. 
And, and he's got him so confused right now. Harry, I, I, I've never seen such consummate swishing in a fighter doing it effectively without getting caught. That, that breaks all of the conventional wisdom and boxing yeah, knowledge. It yes, it does. The question remains, could he get away with it with a more young and live fighter? No, you couldn't. No, you couldn't. No, you couldn't. Yeah, we've seen it many times in this weight class. Once they step it up in, in ability, you see the, the bantamweights, the featherweights, the lighter guys are so fast at that level. One mistake can cost you the fight. Exactly. Now you see. It looks like, and now he's starting to settle down on his punches, Blair is. You notice that? Harry, you're saying a, an old veteran starting to feel more comfortable again getting back on their horse. That's right. That's right. Now I think he's got the feel of the ring now. The question remains is, uh, will the ring rust wear off before Roscoe's ring generalship takes over? That's right. It's rare to right, see. And now it looks like he's got into his groove, Blair has. Ever seen a lot. Guys like Blair, they look like they're taking a beating, but they've been around a long time. They know how to avoid getting caught on the chin. Just as I say that, he gets caught. Yep. Blair smells blood. He's closing in in his cone corner. Nice body shots, uppercut. Yes, he has. And he's mixing up a barrage of punches by Blair. This is amazing, Harry. He switched four or five times in one exchange. We're seeing stars here in Atlanta, Georgia tonight, I promise you. Who says Atlanta's not a boxing city, Harry? Well, with fights like this, it could sure be a boxing city, couldn't it? Hey, I, hey, I, I, I think Atlanta's full of boxing. I think Atlanta's full of a boxing stars. We just got to find a place for them to shine. That's right. That's right. Very good, very good, very good round. Excellent round of fights. Thank you. Now we can see a corner in action trying to keep this guy alive. He's spent a lot of energy in two rounds. Now the question is, is he tired? Here, we've seen this trainer here a lot in, in, in Georgia Amateur, yeah. and uh, he, he seems to have a lot of good fighters. Yeah, he does. He trains a lot of fighters out of Doraville, Georgia. This yeah. is round three. I didn't hear a lot of instruction. Uh, there's not a lot to tell their fighter. Roscoe's doing everything right. A referee warns a, a Roscoe's a corner to, to get some of the, the grease or also known as foreign substance away from his eyes and face. I think they noticed in a Roscoe's corner that he was tiring a little bit from so much energy expended. Now we're going to see. Harry, just